Every year, thousands of pilgrims get their backpacks ready and head out on a mission of roughly 1,100 miles. It's all part of a pilgrimage route called Via Francigena. It goes through England, France, Switzerland and Italy until arriving to the very heart of Christianity, the tomb of St. Peter. Rome's Basilica of San Giovanni Battista dei Fiorentini opened its doors as a meeting point to accommodate some of those pilgrims before they make it to the Vatican. Che il pellegrino trovi qui in questa chiesa anche un luogo dove sostare, riposarsi, riprendere energia fisica, mi pareva la logica conseguenza, poi un segno di grande accoglienza. The so-called welcoming center is on the side door of the basilica in a room called Fiorentini. In fact, that room was actually the oratory of St. Philip Neri, who was the first pastor of this church. Now, years later, some of the saints' famous sayings are on the wall of the room. Aside from taking a break, pilgrims can also request a certificate that shows they've taken part in at least 62 miles of the route. A group of pilgrims attended this presentation ceremony after covering about 23 miles of the journey. Un cammino che è spirituale, ma anche, diciamo, per chi vuole fare un trekking è molto semplice, camminare e pregare anche perché si incontrano dei bei punti, diciamo, di preghiera. Each pilgrim can decide how much of a distance they want to travel. Some even go on a second stage. After arriving in St. Peter's, they decide to go on to Jerusalem. In Italy, one of the most popular routes is, of course, the Via Francigena. It runs for 155 miles, all the way from Assisi to the Eternal City of Rome. 